guys, what we got here is uh, a homemade set of tins. I had to build these because uh, with the uh, the 72 and on Volkswagen bus, if you put a Type 1 motor in it, it will not seal. So uh, I made my own. This is uh, the part that goes around the rear of the engine. Uh, these go up the sides. You can see, in order to get these curves, around through here I just took a straight edge and I put marks on one inch increments and I measured up you know measure you know uh, numbered them going up through here you know one two three four five six seven eight nine so on and so forth and then I transferred all those marks to this piece and then I could cut the curvature I needed what I'm going to do I'm going to duplicate this I'm going to duplicate this set replacing the uh, the uh, sheet metal screws with rivets but I got to get all this cleaned up and use this as a template and build a whole nother set so that's what we're going to be doing here's my material that I'm using it's just old uh, galvanized roofing metal uh, let me turn to the workbench and I'll show you what I'm doing here with this and I'm just cutting the uh, the ribs out of it you know and uh, that gives me flat pieces of metal to work with. Now what I'm going to do, I'm using these uh, electric snips to snip all that. It's a whole lot easier than using tin snips or whatever. Now I've got to duplicate these pieces of metal. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to come from the bend here, okay, and get this. I think that's, uh, I think I made that two and three quarter. Anyway, I'm going to bend that in there at the other workbench. Then, when I have the 90 in it, I can lay this right in against the 90 and trace this out here. Once I have all the pieces cut and bent and um, um, get them sanded, then I can prime them up and paint them, and uh, that'll be my set. And we'll go, we'll, I'll try to get some video of installing this. It works out a whole lot better. It's important that you keep your uh, engine compartment as clean as you can because uh, the dirt is definitely an enemy of. Uh, a VW engine so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you the bending process guys this is very crude it's a very very crude way to do this but what I did I took some uh, piece of inch and a quarter angle and bolted it to the top of my workbench I don't have access to a shop brake so this is just how I've got to do it uh, I marked it out I wanted two and three quarter finish on my measurement so I marked it two and thirteen sixteenths to give me just a little bit of a room to uh, work with it. What I do, I just start by getting the uh, just start forming it that way. Once I get it started, then I can finish up with this piece of angle on top of it. You can see it's coming along there, and I just keep doing that until I get a really good 90. A, a real brake would be wonderful to have for this, you know, a big shop brake, but I don't have it, so I'm making do, and you know, one of the reasons I'm showing you this is because there's a lot of guys out there like me that don't have um, all the tools to fabricate that they, that they really need to have, but you can still do a pretty fair job with it. I'm going to keep working on this, and... Uh, we'll get us uh, another set of uh, engine tins made up. Just holding that right up, right up against the other piece. And I know these tins fit. I had them on uh, another van at one time. So, no question about uh, fitment. Alright guys, I got one of my uh, the duplicates made up here. 
drying by the uh, stove. Let's go in here and look at the uh, new stuff. There's one tin. I got it painted and I got my other duplicate standing up in the corner there. I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with the progress so far, but uh, I'm going to keep the original set together because I drilled these holes specifically for the engine compartment that the van is going in. So uh, I'm going to keep them, uh, keep them separated. All right, guys, this is the other side of the engine compartment. Uh, you can see how dirty this thing is. What, what happened, if you can remember, when I had the, uh, the oil filter fiasco, when the, the frame PH8A, uh, when it blew because of the adapter, that's how I got all this uh, oil and crap all over the place. But uh, this time, instead of using these sheet metal screws, I am going with rivets. It'll be a lot cleaner look, and it'll be uh, just better. All, all the way around. Um, this is the other side. I got to get it duplicated, get all the screws out, and um, hopefully, I'm hoping to get this done tonight. I don't know. My back is hurting really bad, but um, it's kind of it's gonna. I guess it's gonna hurt in the house too. I'm gonna do as much as I can, and then I'll just have to quit. Well, guys, these are uh, these are the last two tins I need to fabricate. I've got this one in the uh, in there on the other bench, clamped down. I've got to get it bent up, but. I can't do any more tonight. I'm pretty worn out. I'll go show you the progress. These are all the uh, new duplicates over here. And this is the old original. Got it painted. This one is the one I'm still uh, got to fabricate it. I've got these two here. These are the old ones. I got those painted up. So anyway, I'm going to stop for tonight and we'll uh, pick it up later. Alright guys, uh, I'm on one of my last pieces that I got to duplicate. We left off with having this piece here in the uh, in there in the other room on the workbench. What I've got to do is make these 90s here. Okay, I've already got the piece duplicated as far as the bend and the dimensions. What I'm going to do is take a knife right here and just score this back to that line. Okay. Now I can take my snips, cut it off, the score just helps that, uh, helps that to, you know, to get that cut in there. And I got a pair of hand seamers. What I'm going to do this is good for the smaller cuts you know the throat's not deep enough to do big bends but and then you just want to get your 90 on there you can see I need to stiffen that 90 up a little bit but that's the idea of it that's we just go ahead and stiffen that 90 just to there we go now I've got a good tight 90 and I've duplicated I've duplicated that end. I've just got to repeat the process. We'll be ready to uh, get this to the, uh, get it into the other room, get it primed and painted. All right, guys. Here's the uh, here's the finished product. I'm gonna go ahead and give it another coat of paint, but I got it riveted together. That is what's gonna seal up our uh, engine compartment. Replacing a uh, Type Four with a Type One engine.